Welcome to this introduction to the ESNS iVotronic touchscreen voting system. With features like a voter verifiable receipt, the iVotronic will enhance the voting experience for all voters. To begin the iVotronic voting process, a poll worker will activate your ballot by inserting the personal electronic ballot into the appropriate slot. Then you will be allowed to make your selections and cast your ballot in complete privacy. Voting on the iVotronic is as easy as one, two, three. To begin, you should familiarize yourself with the instructions for proper use and press the View Ballot prompt at the bottom of the screen. You will make selections for each candidate and or issue for which you intend to cast a vote. To make a choice, touch the name or issue. Your selections will be highlighted in bold and a green check mark will appear. You may change your selections at any time during the voting process. The ESNS iVotronic offers voters an opportunity to verify selections in writing through a voter verifiable receipt or real-time audit log. The real-time audit log is located on the left-hand side of the voting booth. As you proceed through the ballot, the printer will display every selection you make and allow you to confirm that the proper selections have been made. To move through the ballot, once you have completed voting on a page, press the Next button at the bottom of the screen to proceed. At any time, you may touch the Back button to return to a previous page. The iVotronic touchscreen voting system allows you to write in candidates if you choose. To cast a vote for a write-in candidate, touch the write-in option and a keyboard will appear on the screen. Use the keyboard to type in the name of a candidate for whom you would like to cast a vote. Once you have entered the name, press Accept and the name of your write-in selection will appear on your ballot. Continue making and changing selections until you complete the ballot. After you have completed the last page of your ballot, press the Review button at the bottom of the screen. Carefully review all of your selections. To change a selection, touch the box next to a candidate or issue and reselect the proper choice. Then hit the Review button again to return to the summary screen. As always, the real-time audit log will print out your selections as you make them. After you are satisfied with all of your selections, to cast your ballot, press the flashing red vote button at the top of the iVotronic or the large green check mark. You will then be asked to confirm your ballot one last time. A thank you for voting message will now appear on your screen. This means that you have properly cast your ballot. Once your ballot is cast, the real-time audit log will scroll upward so none of your activity will be visible to the next voter. We hope you enjoy voting on the iVotronic touchscreen voting system. Remember, it's as easy as one, two, three. Many iVotronic voting machines also have audio-only ballots for people with visual impairments. To select a visual ballot, touch the screen. To select an audio ballot, press the diamond-shaped button. Voters use the two triangle-shaped buttons and the large diamond-shaped button below the touch screen to move through the ballot and cast votes. The large button above the touch screen is used to submit the ballot after all selections are made. In addition to their unique shape, these buttons are labeled in Braille. In order to assure the privacy of the person voting, headphones are used to listen to the ballot. These buttons may also be used by people with physical disabilities who have limited manual dexterity. To select a visual ballot, touch... Please wait. Loading ballot. This will take a few seconds. You will be notified upon completion. Ballot load complete. Voting instructions. Please listen carefully, as these instructions will guide you through the navigation features of the iVotronic. To skip these instructions and enter the ballot, press the diamond-shaped button at any time. The audio ballot is presented in two distinct voices, a female voice for instructional audio segments and a male voice for ballot audio segments. The following are examples of the voices you will hear as you navigate through the audio ballot. This is the voice that will play during the ballot audio segments. This is the voice that will play during instructional audio segments.
The Ivotronic has an audio navigation panel located near the lower center of the voting unit. The panel consists of three raised buttons, which are from left to right, the up arrow, the down arrow, and the diamond shaped button. The up or down arrow buttons allow you to move up or down within a ballot and within option lists. The arrow buttons are used to perform many other functions, which are described as needed within the audio ballot. The diamond shape button allows you to select and deselect available options. The vote button is also used in the audio ballot. It is a large oval shaped button located at the top center of the voting unit. The vote button allows you to cast your ballot when you are ready to vote. You will be notified when you are able to vote. In each audio segment, you will be told which buttons are available for you to press. Please take a few moments to familiarize yourself with the location of the navigation panel and the vote button. To replay these instructions, instructions any time in the voting process, touch the screen. If you are ready to continue listening to the ballot navigation instructions, press the down arrow button. To repeat these instructions, press the up arrow button. End of instructions. The following navigation instructions guide you through a ballot containing just office contests. Your options will be described before the first contest plays. To move through the contest titles, use the up and down arrow buttons. To listen to the available selections within a contest, press the diamond shape button after the contest has been played. After you have selected a contest, press the up and down arrow buttons to listen to the available selections. To make a contest selection, press the diamond shape button after the selection has been played. Your selection will be repeated and the phrase has been selected will be played to confirm your choice. To change a selection, move to the current selection, listen to it play, and then press the diamond shape button. To change a selection, Move to your current selection, listen to it play, and then press the diamond shape button. Your selection will be repeated and the phrase has been deselected will be played to confirm the change. When you are done making selections in a contest, press the up or down arrow button to listen to the next or previous contest title. When you arrive at a contest in which you have already made a selection, both the contest title and your selection will be played. At each transition, instructions for the next available steps will be played. You may begin voting. To enter the ballot, press the down arrow button. To repeat these instructions, press the up arrow button. End of instructions. Unofficial training Democrat ballot. The number of contests in this election. Four. Contest. One. Senator, District 25. Vote for one. The number of selections in this contest. Three. No selection made. Contest. 2. Representative, District 11. Vote for 1. The number of selections in this contest. 3. No selection made. Contest. 1. Senator, District 25. Vote for 1. The number of selections in this con selection. 1. Donna J. Hooper. Democrat. Deselected. Selection. 2. Cindy Ross. Democrat. Deselected. Selection. 2. Cindy Ross. Democrat. Selected. Selection. 2. Cindy Ross. Democrat. Deselected. Selection. 3. Gary Keel, Democrat, deselected. Selection. Three. Gary Keel, Democrat, selected. Contest. Two. Representative, District 11, vote for one. The number of selections in this contest. Three. No selection made. Contest. Three. Dog catcher. Vote for one. The number of selections in this contest. Two. No selection made. Selection. One. Leslie Thomas. Democrat. Deselected. Selection. One. Leslie Thomas. Democrat. Selected. Selection. Two. George Nichols. Democrat. You have reached the end of the ballot. Summary ballot mode.
You are required to review your selections. In summary ballot mode, your selections will be played back to you. If you want to change a selected choice, press the diamond shape button after the contest title and choices are played. You will be returned to the selected contest in revote mode, so you can make the desired changes. In revote mode, the button actions are the same as in ballot mode. To begin the summary playback, press the diamond shape button. To repeat these instructions, press the up arrow. End of contest. One. Senator, District 25. Vote for one. Gary Keel. Democrat. Selected. Contest. Two. Representative, District 11. Vote for one. No selection made. Representative, District 11. Vote for one. Summary revote mode. To return to the contest selected and make a change to your choice, press the diamond shape button. You are entering summary revote mode. When you are finished modifying your selections, move to the end of the contest selections and return to the summary ballot. End of instructions. Contest. Two. Representative, District 11. Vote for one. The number of selections in this contest. Three. No selection made. Selection. One. Todd Platt. Democrat. Selection. One. Todd Platt, Democrat. Selected. Selection. Two. Clarence Miller, Democrat. Deselected. Selection. Three. Kimberly Hyman, Democrat. Deselected. Summary revote mode. You have reached the end of the selected contest. To stay within the selected contest, press the down arrow. To return to the summary ballot, press the diamond-shaped button. To repeat the instructions, press the up arrow. End of instructions. You have returned to the summary ballot. Contest. Two. Representative, District 11. Vote for one. Todd Platt. Democrat. Selected. Contest. Three. Dog catcher. Vote for one. Leslie Thomas. Democrat. Selected. Contest. Four. Justice of the Supreme Court, District 1. Vote for one. Ronald Miller. Selected. You have reached the end of the summary ballot. Ballot complete. You have made choices in all contests. Press the diamond shape button to return to the ballot to make or change your selections. You may cast your ballot now or at any time. To cast your ballot, press the vote button located at the top center of the voting machine. Your ballot has been cast. Thank you for voting. End of voting session.